Okay, first you find the space in between the breast and the leg right there, and you cut it like this. But first you have to have a knife that's sharp. <laughs> and then you pull it like that. And you pop, there's a bone underneath the thigh, and you pop it out like this. Kind of cut along that spot between the tail. Boom. When you cut in between where this that bone is at, right here, the thigh bone. Flip it over. the other side the same way it's easier if you do from back here first my knife isn't okay. try to hold the skin so you don't lose all of your And pop the thigh bone and you can cut in between it. Like that, see? And then you have you can feel a little space in between there. That's where you put your knife and cut right to the joint. See? And you have a thigh and a leg. A little space there, right there, it dents. There you go. Two thighs, two legs. Kind of cut too far of the dark meat right there. And then you take. Okay, so you found that joint right there. You start from back here a little bit on the breast. Watch out for the skin. You don't pull it off right there. You can see where the joint is. Just cut it away. And there's ooh. Same thing over here. Then you cut the back off. Good. In between this kill here, the breast right here, and cut down through that way. Like I said, it helps to have a sharp knife. That, that, that knife isn't all that sharp. So you see this spot where the ribs start right there? You just cut in between it. And then you don't have to cut all the way through. You just break it like that. <laughs> It sounds kind of horrific, but it's not that bad. Okay, there's the back. You could save that for chicken stock, make uh, chicken broth, uh, broth or soup or something. Okay, there's two ways to do a breast. You can do two big halves, the very big chunks of breast, or you can put make small ones, smaller breasts, and have a kill. And the way you do that is you cut into here and then there and you cut it in here another way is to cut this bone out and around difficult to get underneath it
this is where it gets tricky because you want your skin left on your breast for flavor. And what I do is I take it, there's a soft spot right here. And just like that. Just be careful your fingers aren't in the way when you get it out. There you go. Now, just like that. There, there's a little piece of white meat. Now, here's the really fun part. There's the ribs right here. You just like that. Cut the meat away right there. Some people like to leave the ribs. I like to do that too. Cooks it a lot easier. Okay, now that I get that part, there's a little bone right here. It's called the wishbone, and you cut through it here. Now, there we go. See. You can do this. There you go. And then you can use that for your chicken stock. You can fry that if you want. So you get two breasts. And like I said, without a sharp knife, you lose some of your skin. So we've got two breasts, two wings, two thighs. Now, some people like to just split that and just cut it in half, and then you have two slices. The breast with the bone on it. I did it a little different this time. You can get some of this meat off and you can fry it. But that's it.